five. It just makes the lock screen look a little cleaner and just overall makes you have a better feeling when you go to unlock your okay, phone. Okay, so something new on the Galaxy 5 is the fingerprint sensor, but in past updates, it just hasn't worked well. The fingerprint sensor hasn't worked well as something on the Galaxy Note 4. But now, in the new update, they made it so it's more accurate and you can actually use it with your thumb now. So if you're on the go and you want to use it with your thumb, you can. So if I slide my thumb here, we can see that it actually works. When I usually go to do it, it would give me something like this. I would slide it and it would show me something like that every time I went to go do it, after school, etc. But now... I can just slide and it'll just be way more recognizable. And this is due to the fact that when you go to set up your fingerprint in the settings, it gives you an option to add your thumb. It used to never do that, but now it does. So that's a great addition. Something kind of like with the iPhone 6 or 5S, the new fingerprint system in the Apple devices. Okay, so something that is not a positive in the new 4.4.4 update for the Galaxy S5 is the bloatware that comes with it. I mean, this is insane. I get all these new bloatware apps that I just can't uninstall. So, if I go to the Uber app here, and I hold on it. Hold on here, let's go back. If I hold on it, it will give me the option to disable it, but I cannot delete it. This is an issue. It's taking up space on my phone. And, you know, I don't have a lot of space right now, so it's basically adding to the junk that AT&T has already put on it in 4.4.2. So, that's just something I don't like about it. It might not mind some people, but the bloatware is just not working for me. Okay, so the next thing that I noticed was just an overall speed improvement on the device. The little um, animations have been faster when opening apps. Everything is just open faster, just better performance overall. Nothing that's going to like blow you away, but it's just better performance, better performing. I just, it just overall makes it smoother. There's not much else to say. Kind of just makes your Samsung Galaxy S5 feel faster. I guess Samsung decided to finally speed up TouchWiz as it is quite slow. But, you know, it's been speeded up in the 4.4.4 update. Okay, so something small that I noticed in the new update is when I'm sending photos to my friend. Me and my friends send each other photos a lot, so it was really hard on 4.4.2 when it would take forever, forever to send my friend a photo. So we'd be in the middle of a conversation, and all of a sudden I would say, Oh, look at this photo! And he would be like, what photo? And then it would just get all awkward, you know how that is. So now, in the Lollipop update, it's faster when sending photos. Not just faster on the app, but faster on the network. So the AT&T network seems to send photos faster than it did before on the 4.4.4 Okay guys, update. so that's going to be it for this video today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. When the Lollipop update comes out for the Samsung Galaxy S5, I will have a video on it, so be prepared to see that in the future, hopefully soon. And that's going to be it. Smile because you're amazing, and peace out.